Now we have to do something. We have to save the receiving token in the local storage. So uh, now we are going to do that. It is doing by local storage dot set item. It is uh, like key value pair. Uh, so key is login and the value is JSON dot stringify and JSON dot stringify login true i will give it a one property as login another property as token the token is contains the real token response uh, dot data dot token right so now uh, it can be saved in it can be saved in the local storage uh, let's give it a try uh, sanga at gmail.com and I'm, I'll give the password to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, uh, now we are going to check with the local storage dot get here. Here is the login property and here is the token property. Uh, we can implement the catch all so we can identify uh, what is there so i'm going to implement the catch also uh, console.log this error right uh, then i have to implement the text area uh, part of the blog post part uh, so i'm going to implement in below that so let's implement that using another div slash div right okay get div mm. it's gonna be like this I'm going to copy and paste it's a text area in text area uh, we, we're going to get this value and uh, there should be a function called create post uh, I will, I'm going to implement this also I will erase this for now uh, okay let's see how this application looks like now we got the input uh, login inputs and post inputs text area um, but uh, we all know that um, if the user is logged in we don't want to show the login area to the user so now we are going to implement uh, that part before that uh, i'm going to add another properties to my state uh, i will tell you what those things in later login uh, in first i will give it as null then uh, the store um, it's also i'm give at the first it's also null and the post also null in the first stage so uh, and there should be another function so i'm going to implement the store collector function like this uh, the store collector function it has a store variable and is going to get the local storage data It is going to get the local storage data. Uh, it's called uh, login, and it is stored in the store variable. If uh, this uh, store, if this is store variable, uh, and store dot login is true, then this dot set state. This dot set state going login state is going to true and store is going to store like this right so I'm going to call this uh, store collection function in login function in here in here this dot 
select the store store collection and also I'm going to implement the component didmount method and here also I'm going to call the store collection function this store collector function right okay there is another thing I have to I'm going to use JSX syntax here if uh, this dot state dot login there not to show this mm, right let's see I'm going to clear the local storage So, so this is our application, and uh, we are going to log in it as sangha at gmail.com. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. And if you going to get another, uh, if you're going to get another browser or the browser window, now we have already login so we don't want to login again uh, because we have the uh, jwt authentication now we have to do is implement this uh, force method uh, this uh, blog post we know that our server has this post route it is a protected route so how how we going to uh, access this post route in our application so for that we have to implement this create post method uh, I'm going to uh, implement this create post method so it should have uh, this uh, it will get first the token space plus uh, this dot this dot state dot store dot token because we are storing the token in store object uh, then later uh, we are going to give the config object here and um, it has headers and so it's also object in headers object there is a property called authorization so we give that token to that uh, authorization header and after that we again send a http request axios dot post what is the url the url is, is this uh, http post uh, the Endpoint is 8080. Uh, then we send the post. Post is this dot this dot state dot post. Uh, and we should send the config object also and then we got the response we simply got the response and we simply 
console console log the response the response from protected protected route here we go then catch console dot log this error so now we can uh, post a blog post uh, if we send this ah here we got the uh, response from the protected route so uh, we get the response status text okay and the response is blog posted okay this is uh, this is how we access the protected routes using jwt uh, and we used uh, react as our front-end application we saw that uh, how to store the jwt token in our local storage and how to send this jwt token with each and every request